Hey guys, welcome to Megan Gray's DIY. My name is Megan and I'm a college theater and fashion professor at Centenary University. Now on my channel, I've shown you how to thread a home sewing machine, but I have yet to show you how to thread an industrial sewing machine. At Centenary University, we use the Juki DDL 8700. So I'm gonna take you through how to thread that machine specifically and show you just the small differences between threading this type of machine and threading a home machine. Come along with me and I'll get you threaded up in no time. Here's our Juki DDL 8700. I've placed my thread in the thread holder that's just above the machine. And just above that, there'll be a thread guide with a small hole in it. We're taking our thread and we're lacing it from back to front and then bringing our thread down to the machine. Once we're at the machine, find the thread guide that's just left of the center. We're once again gonna push our thread through from back to front. Next, find the thread guide with two holes that's just to the left. We're gonna take our thread and we're gonna push it through from right to left once, and then find the bottom hole and push it through from right to left a second time. I call this going around town because that means our thread will cross in front of the guide. Here's those steps in a close-up motion. Once again, we're finding our guide that's just left of center and we're pushing our thread from the back to the front and pulling it all the way through. Then find our second guide where we're going to push our thread from right to left through the hole and then right to left again through the bottom hole. When we're finished, we want to see our thread crossing in front of the guide and that's why I like to call it going around town. Next, we're going to go downwards towards our tension wheel, but there's a thread guide right above it that we're going to slip our thread through. Then we wrap our thread around our tension wheel and pull backwards to make sure we've caught our tension wire. Let's check that out again in close up. Slip right through our thread guide and then take our thread and go underneath the tension wheel. You should feel it go in between the tension wheels and give a little bit of resistance. Then catch our tension wire, give it a pull and make sure that it's caught with your thread. And then slide our thread underneath the guide before heading back upwards. As we make our way back upward to the top of the machine, we're going to look for something called the take-up lever, but I often refer to this as a pelican head since it sticks its way in and out of the machine. We're gonna take our thread and thread from right to left, pushing our thread through and pulling it back down towards the bottom of the machine. We're threading our take-up lever from right to left, and then once you come out of the take-up lever, there'll be another thread guide just below it that will easily slide our thread through. I think the biggest difference between a home machine and an industrial machine is there are far more thread guides to make sure our thread is successfully placed through. Now we're on to the last few steps of the top of the machine. When we get down to where the needle is, there's another thread guide that we're gonna pull our thread towards the back and then pull the thread forward to slide into the guide. Then there's a hole located just above the needle that we're going to push our thread through from front to back. It's important to note while threading your machine that you don't want too much extra thread. Too much extra thread will make it really difficult to pull your thread through. And now we're on to our last step where we're going to take our thread and we're gonna thread it from left to right through the needle. And here's a quick distance review before we move on to the bobbin. We're starting by pushing our thread through the thread guide that's almost near the center from back to front. Then we're going over to the left and placing our thread from right to left through the top hole and right to left through the bottom hole, making sure our thread crosses in front of the guide and going around town. Pull your thread in a downward motion from that top guide, making sure that the thread crosses in front. Then we're gonna slide through the guide right above the tension wheel and slip our thread in between our two tension wheels, making sure to pull over to the right to pick up our tension needle. Pull it to make sure that that needle is caught. Then head back up towards the pelican head or the thread take up lever and push our thread through from right to left, sliding back down towards the guide on the outside of the machine. We're picking up our last guide that's above the needle and then pushing our thread through the needle hole right above the needle from front to back. Then take your thread and push it from left to right through the needle, pulling it all the way through. With the top of the machine threaded, you're now ready to move on to threading the bobbin. In a separate video, I'll show you how to spin the bobbin, but you wanna start with a nice smooth bobbin that has no bumps or bubbles. 
and we want to make sure our bobbin is spinning counterclockwise. On the side of our bobbin case, there's a small slit in the metal that we're gonna slide our thread down into and then pull it forward and click it into that tiny hole. You should be able to freely pull the thread and watch the bobbin spin in a counterclockwise direction. Next, take your tab that's on the outside of the bobbin case and slip your thumb underneath it and put your pointer finger on top. We're preparing to put the bobbin into the machine. To insert our bobbin case, I've got the top of the bobbin housing open and I've got my fingers underneath and on top of the tab. I'm going to reach underneath the machine and find the central pole in the middle of the bobbin housing. You want to slide your bobbin case onto that pole with your tab in a horizontal manner and then you're going to feel your tab click and you're ready to go. If after you release the tab, your bobbin house can still spin, then it's not clicked in place. Now we're gonna go fishing for our bobbin thread. Take your top thread with your left hand, holding it with a small amount of tension, and then take the hand wheel and roll it forward just once for your needle to go up and down. This will pull up a small loop of your bobbin thread that you can pull through to the top. Do not go up and down more than once or else your threads will get very tangled. Then push your threads underneath your presser foot towards the back of the machine, and you're ready to give your machine a test drive. If at this point the machine does not want to sew properly, double check your threading on both the top and the bottom. Most often the bobbin is not correctly inputted, or you've wrapped your thread around the tension wheel a bit too tight. When you take your thread out from underneath the presser foot, your stitches should look nice and even on both sides. That means that your thread is in the machine properly and your machine is working correctly. Thanks again for stopping by Megan Grace DIY and learning how to thread an industrial sewing machine with me. If you like this content, please feel free to hit the subscribe and the notify button. And you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. And as always, happy sewing.